top of the day to you. In this video, we're gonna go over the Ping Traverse cart bag. Honestly, I don't know how I feel about this bag. It's really light. And what we have here is a new pattern for 2022. And this colorway is the only bag that does feature this cool little leather patch on it, which is a nice little detail if you're into that kind of thing, which I am. This bag has a 14 weight top with full divides in it to keep your handles from tangling. One of my knocks on this bag though, is that it's all zippers. There's no magnets or anything on there, like the Pioneer, the DLX. Personally, I'm a fan of for that quick, easy access. So if you don't mind having all zippers, then buy an option. It's just something to take note. So this doesn't have a typical designated putter well like most bags. It does have two, what they call putter wells. So you can kind of organize this bag how you seem fit, whether you're on a push cart or on a golf cart, depending on how you like to have your bags organized. So this bag does feature the these cart strap wells that which you can run your straps through to either the golf cart or your push cart so that way all your pockets are easily accessible still and nothing is blocked off but these do seem to be high friction areas and it is just a canvas material that which will wear as that friction goes on and on some bags have a little bit more reinforcement some don't so that's something i would look out for as there is no kind of reinforcements on this canvas just a little heads up i do like how it has this corded material at the top of these cart well straps i think that's just kind of a cool look and hopefully that leads to a little more durability in that area I'm not sure. I just personally I just think it's a nice little accent. I just like the look of it, honestly. Valier lined pocket for all your valuables. The one thing I know that compared to a lot of other bags is it's not weather sealed. So it is just a typical normal zipper. So I would be careful of that. If it starts to rain or something, you would want to be on the lookout for that. As a lot of other bags does have that weather sealed zipper. This one does not. One of my favorite features is these large cooler pockets on this bag. You could easily fit over six full-size cans in there, no problem. I would say probably eight's about the limit that you can push it on this one but that is plenty I feel. A nice little added feature that personally I'm a fan of. So this bag does come in at five and a half pounds so it's really light. Honestly when I pick it up pretty shocked how light it feels. There's a lot of little details I feel they've like left off on this whether it be the magnets or just some of the other little features a lot of the other bags have just to kind of cut down on that weight I feel. There's something to kind of think of you know if you want a lightweight bag this is a great choice but if you're looking for something with a little more organizational pockets or those quick access pockets or anything like that or any kind of little Little other details. This bag won't have it, but you do have that lightweight. I'm told there's 11 pockets on this bag, six large pockets, and according to their website, five slip pockets. So I'm assuming those are kind of the smaller pockets you have here for whatever you may want to get in or out of your bag. I'm sure you on this bag is 100% polyester and it is weather resistant. And so if you get caught in some mist or anything. So no, your bag will be fine if it gets a little wet. So it does only have this front handle that which is a molded soft grip. So it is nice personally. I'm a big fan of the Ping or the DXL that's got the two on the side. I know it was my Myself, personally, I end up picking my bags up by both those straps a lot, especially when it's fully loaded and I put too much in my bags personally. I like them a lot. I'm not a fan of this one handle getting my bag in or out of anything. It just seems a lot more awkward and cumbersome to me. And just the center of gravity is a little wonky, especially if you have that cooler filled up. Where I can't personally fit both my hands on there. So it is something to be look out. Is it make or break deal? I don't know. This bag does have 34 liters of volume in its, all its pockets. I'm still not really sure what any of that means. I'm 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 working on it. Working on it. One day I'll figure it out. Favorite features is always on ping bags is it does have these removable front panels so you can have stuff embroidered. Like, I don't know, say this. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so I think this pattern is really cool. I'm glad that Ping's starting to get a little more adventurous with their designs. I've noticed more and more bag companies are starting to have that kind of cooler, like trendier materials, which I think is awesome, especially having these kind of patterns. I just think it's really cool having them. I mean, that's why I wear shirts like this or like this. Who doesn't love a grandmother's couch shirt? <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> So overall, I think this bag's okay. I think there's better choices, even by Ping themselves. And if you want to check out some videos on some other Ping bags, go ahead and click this link here. See you in the next one. But these do seem to be kind of high friction areas, of course, Charlie.